Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you this morning. We glorify your name this morning. We lift you up, God Almighty. We praise you, God. Not for all the things that you have done, but just because you are God. Here we are in your presence this morning. We thank you, Lord, for your divine protection. We thank you, Lord, for having kept us, Lord, during the course of the week, God, that we can be in your house this morning for no other purpose, O oh God, than to worship and adore you and to lift up your name. Lord, many are in your house this morning. Oh God, having so many challenges, Lord. But we thank you, God, that you love us with a special love. And you promise never to leave us alone. So we thank you, Lord, for your presence that always with us. We thank you for your divine protection. We thank you for your strength, Lord. We thank you for the support that you have been to us, Lord. And we come to honor you this morning. You are a God of love. You are a God of mercy. You are a comforter. You are the great I am. You are the never failing friend. And you are the sympathizing Jesus. And we bless you this morning, God. We give you the glory. Lord, we give you the praise. We worship you this morning. There is no God like you. Lord, and nothing else could help. Your great love lifted us. And here we are this morning to praise and adore you for all that you have done. Oh God Almighty, remember your children this morning as we stand in your presence, Lord God. Many are weary. Many are worn this morning. Many are sad this morning. But God, you are there this morning. Always looking out for us. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will back us up on every hand. That you'll give us the strength that we need to go through. That you will give us grace to run this Christian race. Oh God Almighty, by ourselves we cannot make it. But we know God, you are there. Oh God, and you are willing God. And most of all, you are able. So God, do it for us, Lord. Fix it this morning, God. Because only you know how. Fix it this morning, God. Hallelujah, God Almighty. Fix it, Jesus. Oh God, as I brother said. King Jesus fix it so I can shout hallelujah. But I thank you God that you fix it for me Jesus. And here I am in your presence Lord just to say hallelujah and to praise your name. God Almighty touch the sick ones this morning. God many are suffering Lord in many ways this morning. God Almighty strength is failing. Health is failing. But God, you never oh, fail. Jesus. We bless you, God, Hallelujah. because you never fail. Yes, we bless you, God, Hallelujah. because you never fail. Hallelujah. We bless you, God, because you never fail. Hallelujah. We bless you, God, because you never fail. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Touch your people this morning. Yes, Give strength, Lord. Hallelujah. Grant deliverance, Lord. Let your healing virtue Heal walk through Jesus. your people this morning. Oh, God, oh God Almighty. I and I know they'll be Hallelujah. careful to praise you. Yes, Lord. God Almighty, yes, Lord. remember our country. Oh God. God Almighty, oh have God. mercy upon Jamaica. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh have mercy this morning. Jesus. God, we need you, God. We are sailing in stormy weather. But have mercy upon Jamaica. God, remember our prime minister. Oh, God, and all the ministers that work with our Lord. Give them a sense of direction. Lord, they need direction this morning. So, God, I pray that you lead them. Every plans that they make, God. Every move that they make, God Almighty. Be in it, Lord. And direct them, Lord. God Almighty, the people that they are leading, God, is your people. 
God, you made the best us in your own image and your likeness. God Almighty, do it for us, Lord. Do it for us. Oh, God, the leader of your position. God, remember him in your mercy this morning. God, direct them, God. They need direction, God. They need direction, God. Direct them this morning. Have your own way this morning. God, my Savior. Oh, God, remember our pastor, Bishop Ewing. God Almighty, bless him this morning. Strengthen him this morning. Lead and direct him, Lord. Surround him with your love, Lord. Be his guide, be his friend. Be his shield and hiding place. Oh, God, help him to continue to rest upon your promises. Hallelujah, your promises are sure. Oh, God, bless sister you with this morning. Strengthen our Lord. Oh, God, surround her with your love. Oh, God, plant our feet and our ground. Bless the children. Bless the children, God. Bless the children. God, in the name of Jesus, look down this morning. Remember Bishop Thompson. God, I place him in your hands this morning. Oh, God, touch him this morning. Lift him up, God. Give him added strength this morning. Give him grace to endure in trying time. Oh, God, remember, Sister T and the children. God, we place them in your hands. Lord, remember all your ministering servants. We pray for them this morning. We pray for the speaker this morning. Bless your words to our hearts. Anoint him for service, Lord. Oh, God, let your Holy Spirit rest upon him. Oh, God Almighty, have your own way. Bless our visitors this morning. That is the come, Lord. They will hear from you, God. They need that direction, God. Touch them this morning. Oh, God, give them a right about turn. Oh, God, in the right direction. God, you come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Lord, it's not your will that none should perish. You want your children to have a life. And there is life for a look at the crucified one. Do it for us, God. We wait on you this morning. Bless the choir as they minister, Lord. Holy Ghost, rest upon them this morning. Have your own way, Lord, because we wait on you. Bless your name, Jesus. We say thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. When troubles and trials, when I get home, on the other side, I'm gonna shake my hand with the elders. I'm gonna tell all the people good morning. I'm gonna sit down beside my Jesus. I'm gonna sit down the rest of the
talk to you. Oh, try to call me. Now you can't call me. I'm dead for you. I want to get home to that land. I want to get home to that land. I want to get home to that land where I'm found. Oh yeah, there is joy, there is peace, there is happiness in my soul. I want to get home in that land where I'm found. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This, this is just a foretaste of that which is to come. Hallelujah. 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 God Keep giving glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I just, I just feel good. I'm a, I am a quiet person. But when I get loose. Yes. 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 Wow. Wow. The children of the Lord have a right to shout and sing. Yes. 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 It is Pentecost. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 The world is having your problem. But we have a God who will take us through a problem. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes, God. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes.
yes, 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Ah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. tonight it continue tonight it will continue tonight so I expect everybody to come out tonight I continue tonight praise God this is what you feel this is what you get when you worship if the praise is God the blessings will come down we will now hear from the women in a fellowship choir. Praise God.
Hallelujah. It's a beautiful atmosphere in the house of the Lord this morning. The song we just sang said, I'm free, gloriously free, no longer bound. Hallelujah. And we give God thanks this morning for bringing us another time into his house, giving us another day to praise him. We acknowledge the presence of our pastor, Bishop John Kenneth Hewitt, and his wife, Sister Hewitt. Our father, Bishop Ari D. Thompson, our moderator. Minister Anderson. All the other ministers, the evangelists, the missionaries, the choristers, the ushers, the deacons, all the wonderful people of God. We praise God this morning. We want to welcome back Sister Charmaine Matthews who was off on long vacation. Welcome back, Sister Charmaine. Understand her mother is ill and she's requesting prayer. Let's remember Mrs. Matthews as we pray. We also have visiting with us, or we still have with us Sister McFarlane. Amen, the mother of Brother McFarlane, Victor McFarlane. We have also visiting Kareem Brown, and Kareem was invited by Sister Margaret Cohen. Kareem, wonderful. God bless you. Thanks for coming. We invite you again. Sister Muir is visiting from New York. Where is Sister Muir? Wonderful. I trust that you have been blessed already, and we pray that you'll be further blessed in the service. Elder White from USA in the front here. God bless you, sir. Mrs. Devitha Beckford, also from New York. Wonderful. God bless you. And she's the mother in law of Sister Sandra Longmore. Again, God bless you. Thanks for coming. To all our other visitors, we're going to ask you to stand at this time so we can recognize you, see who you are, all our visitors, everyone in the house, stand this morning. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. It's great to have you in the house of the Lord. And as I said before, I pray that you'll be blessed if you have not yet received Christ. Our special prayer and our greatest desire is for you to receive Christ as Lord and savior and if you did not receive a blue package when you walked in i'm going to ask you to stand so that our our greeters can hand one to you sister constance sister Con oh <laughs> sister grandston and another name i keep forgetting <laughs> Sister Bruce Brooks, okay. Sister Brooks is back from Canada. Amen. Welcome back. And as I was saying, if you have not yet received a blue package, just let our greeters see you and you'll be given one. In that package, we have a card and we ask you to give us some information, tear that portion off with the information and hand it to one of the greeters or you may give it to... In the offering plate when you're marching around, the other section you can keep as a memory of your visit to Bethel 20 South Camp Road. We also want to say welcome to our viewers via the internet. It's always a pleasure to bring the word of God to you via this medium, and we pray that you will be blessed. God bless you as we welcome our visitors once more. Just stand so we can see you, all our visitors. Just keep standing. And we're really glad you came. This is the house of God. Let us praise his name. Welcome to Bethel. We'll never be the same. It's so good to see your face. And we're really glad you came.
่งใจ It is now offering time. It's a part of worship. You worship God and are so giving your tithes and your offering. Stand, everybody, please. If you can, please stand. While we repeat, you give us grief. First Chronicle, sixteen twenty-eight to thirty-four. Everybody, please stand. Please, if you can. Please, everybody, stand. Come on, members, please. Come on, let's. We're, we are going to be worshiping the Lord with our tithe and our offering and our gifts. So we do ask everyone to stand. We're going to repeat the Giver's Creed and we're going to give our offering. The Lord loves what we give cheerfully and liberally. He became the first example of giving. So we rejoice when we give. We get happy when we give. Amen. And we do stand for the giver's creed and the giving of her tithe and her offering. Amen. Praise God. We must understand that giving is a part of worship also. If we look at Abraham, he worshiped when he went on Mount Maria to offer Isaac for the sacrifice, the form of worship. So in giving to God, the part of worship. Okay? Praise God. The giver's creed. Give unto the Lord, the King right of the people. Give unto the Lord the glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable as it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice, and let men say amongst the nations, the Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice, and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out of the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure it forever. One more time. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure it forever. Sister Yowit, we bless the offering. Hallelujah. Eternal God and our Father Jesus, we thank you today for your goodness and your love towards us. We thank you, Lord, that we can be found in your courts another time to worship. And as we come, Lord, to give back a portion of that which you've blessed us with, we ask you now, Lord, that you bless it, sanctify it, Lord. It will be used to the furtherance of your word. We thank you now in Jesus' name.
Paris crown you shall wear at last. Overcome, overcome. In Jehovah's might, from the fall to the flag, and the victor's crown you shall wear at last. Overcome. Greetings from Bishop Thompson. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God for this very beautiful day. A day that we are privileged to meet in his house. Of fellowship with his children. Amen. And we come Sunday after Sunday. And I hope we don't just take it for granted because it is a privilege to be among God's people this morning in the name of Jesus. Greetings, sir. Bishop John K. Hewitt and Sister Hewitt and all the ministers and officers and saints and those who are visiting with us. Amen. And those who are not saved, we are encouraging you to Come into the family. There's room at the cross. Amen. May God bless you today. May God bless our gathering today. And that our soul be filled and rich with the power and blessings of the Lord. God bless you. Praise God. Without further ado, I represent to you our pastor and bishop, Bishop John Ken Hewitt. Will you return and present the speaker? Thank you so much. Praise God, everybody. It's hot in this place. In more ways than one. <laughs> Glory to God. Presence of the Lord is here. We can feel it in the atmosphere. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. We honor the Lord who is so good. So kind, so gracious, provided food on our tables this past week, shoes on our feet. Boy, I see some kind of shoes on the ladies' feet, especially. Oh boy, them pretty, sir. <laughs> Glory. Amen. Praise God. Clothes on our backs and shelter over our head. Why, why don't we really worship God? Oh my, he's so good. God is so good, so good. Amen. So we honor the Lord this morning. We honor Bishop Thompson. We honor Mr. Hewitt. We honor all the officers and the rest of the saints and our guests that are with us today. We are so happy to once again welcome you and we trust you have already felt the warm welcome. Don't fan it away. It's, in, it's, it's deliberate. A warm welcome. Amen. Praise God. Sister uh, Missionary Rodney is back with us after that near miss. Amen. Yes. And we could have been planning our funeral, but for the mercies of God. Amen. So we really thank God. Sparing her and she's back with us 
I saw the Lord really gave Sister Vilma a dance this morning. She needed that touch. Sister Vilma, yes, praise God. Just lost her son tragically. But the Lord knows how to comfort. Come on, give God praise and thanks for the touch this morning. Amen. Sister Faith Lynn also put away her brother yesterday up in Yalas. Happy to have been there to help to lift up her hand. And so we thank God for that family. We continue to pray for her and the family in Jesus' name. Um, the brother and sister Gray, we're happy to see you in Bethel this morning again. Stand up and let's greet you and welcome you another time. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Good to see you. In the name of Jesus, we welcome back all those who are coming from Canada and other places. Um, Sister Charmaine, bless you. Sister Lorraine, bless you. Amen. Elder White, originally from PGT, away for 16 years in Atlanta, Georgia. But you know what? He's coming. He's home. Oh, boy. They're all coming back home. Doesn't matter where they roam. There is no place like home. Uh, Brother David McFarlane, he goes off to Antigua just after the service, and he'll be there for a few days, so we pray for joining mercies for him. Missionary McFarlane, Dolores, uh, this is her last Sunday here. She leaves on Thursday. Are you crying? You don't have to go back. I mean, you know, you can stay. Uh, we're, we're so happy to have had you. Amen. So we're just going to give her the mic. But I don't think she's coming back to the other services just to say bye-bye. Um, can we get a mic microphone to give to Sister Dolores? Amen. Can we turn it on? Hold on. Let's turn on the mic. Praise the Lord Jesus, everyone. Praise the Lord. I am really sad to be going away from this fellowship today, but I have to go. I bless God for my time here. I think church is one of the most important places in our life. I have seen the benefits, the healing. I have seen the anointing, and I have seen the touch that God has brought in my life because of the presence of God, because of the fellowship of the saints of God. And I worship God even more just to know that I have so many brothers and sisters. And I'm going away back to uh, Boston, Massachusetts. As soon as I possible get my flight together, I'll be leaving. And I'm so glad that Jesus brought me here and he's taken me back. And the same God here is the same God that I worship by there. God bless you all in Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. God bless you, ma'am, as you go. We thank those who participated in the fasting and prayer in this past week and we expected the Lord to move and he's moving amen praise God so let's continue to make the sacrifice and the Lord will show up when we make the sacrifice amen uh, all right we We'll be having our Lord's Supper on Thursday night. Okay, so we'd like to see the house filled on Thursday night as we go to the Lord's table. And let's pray for a blessed Lord's Supper on Thursday night. Amen. All right, God bless you. We are thankful for the Lord's presence here. Praise God. And we continue to worship Him in the spirit and the truth. Do we have another song from the choir? I think they are prepared. Amen. So just before the speaker comes, we're going to receive the Senior Women's Fellowship Choir. And there are some additions, I suppose, as well. All right. So God bless you in the name of the Lord.
keep on pressing on. We believe it won't be very long until we reach the land of song. Hallelujah. Keep pressing on, saints. The end, the end is upon us. The end is upon us. Wars and rumors of wars. The Middle East on edge as we speak. Unconventional warfare. The chemical type. And my God, we just need to keep our seat in Zion. Stay on board. Praise God. Amen. All right, we get ready to receive the word. Let's all stand and pray at this moment for the speaker as he comes. And that the Spirit of God will direct the word to our hearts. Those that are not saved will be baptized today after repenting of their sins. Those without the Spirit of God will be filled. Those who have the Spirit of God will be refilled, refreshed, revived, restored, renewed, reconstructed, and everything else that the Lord needs to do with us for us to be ready for the trumpet sound. It's going to be a serious day, a dread day, a terrible day, an awful day. But a good day for those that are ready and prepared for the coming of the Lord. Minister Donovan Brown is going to be the vessel um, to stand before us today. So as he come, let us pray. The Lord will bless him and, and in blessing him, make us blessed as well. In Jesus' name. somebody give the Lord a praise come on somebody give the Lord a praise anybody believe today that God is awesome does anybody believe that we serve an awesome God somebody said our God is awesome somebody says a miracle work in God somebody said he's a bomb in Gilead and truly this morning we serve a great big Wonderful God is always victorious and is always watching over us. I'm not a great singer and I'm going to ask the priest team to just help me sing My God is Awesome as it has been led in my spirit. Do we have the priest team here? Uh, Sister Dion, could you just come? Come quickly for me, Sister Dion. Uh, my, my God is Awesome. Awesome. He can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heal me when I'm working, strike where I'm can move mountains, keep me in the valley, I'll live on the strain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever he will reign. Yeah. 
Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, hear me, let the redeem of the Lord shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody give God a mighty shout now. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Songwriter said, every time I get a chance to praise him, hallelujah, because in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy, and at his right hands, there are pleasures forevermore. Certainly, I'm glad to be here this afternoon in the presence of God, and certainly, we can feel the presence of the Lord moving, and God is rich in this place. Can somebody shout glory? glory. Uh, greetings to... Our pastor and bishop, Bishop John K. Hewitt. And greetings to Mother Hewitt. Uh, greetings also to Bishop I.R.D. Thompson. And to all the ministers and elders and evangelists and missionary. Greetings to our senior choir. And to the priest team and to all of you, my father's children. I greet you all in the most exalted name, the name Jesus. Uh, certainly at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that he is Lord. And certainly God is doing a good thing. In spite of what is happening around us, uh, we believe and we have the assurance that God is still in total control of what is happening. I'd like you to turn your Bibles to the book of Joshua chapter 6 and I'm just going to read two verses out of that chapter Joshua chapter 6 and I'm going to read verse 10 and verse 20 it said and Joshua I had commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth. 
Until the day I bid you shout, then shall he shout. Uh, 28 verse said, So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Father, we give you thanks. We honor you. We magnify you. We praise you. We lift you up and we adore you because you are king of kings and lord of lords. And you are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, it is in you that we live, we move, and we have our being. Father, we pray right now as we stand in your presence, God, that you open up the windows, the doors of heaven. And send your spirit, send your anointing, send a word, send a ray a word to us, God. God, we need a word, God, to be strengthened. We need a word of assurance, God. We need a word to let the enemy know that he is not in control, but you are still in control. We need a word, God, that will bring us to another level in you. As we ask of this, in Jesus' name. Let every glad heart say, in Jesus' name. I'd like to use for a subtopic this morning, it's time to shout. It is time to shout. It's time to shout because we're going to tear some walls down this morning. Anybody believe that? Some, some wall is building up around this place and it's time now that we shout and break those walls down. I don't know what your wall is this morning, but God says some wall is going to fall down. Somebody praise the Lord. We are living in the last days. It, it, it is war time. Uh, some folks don't believe it's war time, but it's war time in the spirit. Uh, this is not day and age where we can sit and be at complacent anymore because the enemy is not easing up with us. He's not playing. He's not in a short thing, but he comes to kill steal and destroy the bible let us to understand that he is a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour the bible also let us that he desires to sieve us all as wheat which simply means he wants to utterly destroy us uh, about a couple of years ago we used to say the enemy would be waiting for you to make one little mistake or for you to go out for him to destroy you. But time has changed. And the enemy is not waiting out the door for you anymore. He's coming right in here for you. Uh, he realized that the closing time is upon him. And so he's doing everything to shut you down. But we got power to stay alive. Anybody believe we got power to stay alive? And so the enemy objective is to shut the body of Christ down. The enemy objective is to shut the church down. He doesn't want to see those doors open, but we're going to shout until God do something. We're going to shout until we get deliverance. We're going to shout until God make a way when it seems like there is no way for us because we serve a way maker, which is the Lord God, our healer, and our deliverer. Somebody praise God. Joshua told the people to be quiet, not to stay, uh, not to say a word. He told them to be quiet. Why he told them to be quiet was because he knew their history. A history of gripping and complaining because the Israelites complained a lot. A history of murmuring against Moses and Aaron. And for 40 years, they were going around in just a circle. What should have taken them 40 days took them 40 years because of disobedience. 
because of their murmuring and because of their rebelliousness, it took them a very long time to get to their destiny. And so Joshua had an experience with them because he was with them from Moses' days. And so he knew what they were capable of doing. And so he told them not to say a word. At times we got to keep our mouth quiet because we'll get ourselves in trouble and the bible told us that this tongue is an unruly member it cannot be tamed but times we are to know when to speak and when not to speak somebody shout hallelujah because sometimes you may just say the wrong thing at the wrong time and so you are to know when to utter and when not to utter so jo joshua told them not to say a word it was not time yet to shout just keep quiet i will give the command when to shout i will tell you when to open your mouth and shout that the lord will deliver somebody praise god jesus warned us about this when he said in the book of matthew 15 11 not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man but that which cometh out of the mouth that defile it, that man. So you see folks, we have got to understand that what we need to do is to speak when it is necessary. Speak when it's the right moment. And we are to ensure that we speak positive things and not negative things. I often speak that it is time that we listen positive things and not negative things because negative things can mess your spirit up negative things may, may you look at things and saying that you're not able to do it when god has given you the spirit to do it god has placed something in you and you are more than a conqueror but the enemy will whisper in your ears to let you know that you can't do it you are good for nothing you are not able to it but this morning i come to tell you that the devil is a liar because you can do it tell your neighbors i can do it we need to watch what we say. We need to watch what we speak. We need to speak things that is positive and not negative. You see, when we speak doubt and unbelief, it comes into our situation. If you speak negative things, then you become a negative person. If you speak positive things then you becomes a positive person because whatever you open your mouth and speak that will be what you could become because we have got to understand that there is power in your tongue when you open up your mouth and speak there is power in your mouth and so it is necessary for us to open our mouth and speak when the enemy wants to push you in a loneliness when the enemy wants to push you in a doubtfulness when the enemy wants to close you down then you have got to understand that there is time now for you to open your mouth and speak a positive word over your situation that can turn that situation in from a negative perspective to a positive perspective somebody showed hallelujah i'm not gonna think negative anymore but i'm thinking positive because the bible let us to understand that there were 12 person that went out that Moses sent out to spy out the land. There was Joshua and Caleb among them but they used to see these things as positiveness. They didn't see it as negative because they brought back positive report. Somebody showed positive. positive. Church it is time for us to turn around our situation it is time for us to turn around our life it is time to quit living in a land of
bondage and living in a land of freedom. It is time for us to start living in a land of milk and honey. Because the Bible led us to understand that Joshua, oh hallelujah, called the people and he still and he told them when to shout and when not to shout. Because there was a land that was filled with milk and honey. Honey, and so he had to get them across to the promised land, but there was some obstacle in his way before getting into the promised land. There was some boundary that he had to lick out before getting into the promised land. There was some hurdles that he had to go over before getting to the promised land. Nowadays we are living in a day and a time and age where it seems like as we get over one hurdle there is another hurdle awaiting us. But brothers and sisters I came by to tell you that you can't give up because we are almost at the promised land. The Bible told us that Jesus is coming back and we have heard this from over 2,000 here but I don't care how long we have been hearing it because if God said he's coming back, he's gonna be coming back and I believe it with all my heart. I believe in a good report and not a negative report. I believe in positive things. Why will God go to the grave? Why why will he arose from the grave? Why will he be ascended to heaven? He told us he's coming back and he's coming back for a church that is on fire. He's coming back for a church that is not lukewarm. That a church that is not cold because he is coming back. So I am going to live that this is the last day. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to shout glory. I'm going to shout hallelujah. I'm going to run over hurdles after the hurdle because he's coming back. It is time for me to shout hallelujah and so I'm going to shout till I get the victory. I don't care what bondage you're in but today you can be free from your bondage. Today you can be delivered from your bondage. Today you can be set free from your bondage because there is a God that sitteth high and looketh low. There is a God that understands. There is is a God that sees your need. There is a God that hears your cries. There is a God that sees your dilemma. There is a God that sees your situation. There is a God that sees your heart. There is a God that sees your mind. There is a God that knows your intention. But there is a way that seems right unto man. But at the end there is destruction. So I'm going to look the Lord's way and I'm going to shout glory anyhow somebody shout hallelujah 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 Bible said this is what happened when Jesus entered into Jerusalem he ordains praise he's saying it's okay to shout it is saying it's okay for you to get your victory. The religious folks may call you radical, but that's okay. Where your hands are, you have got to lift them up and praise Jesus. I won't let anybody stop me from shouting hallelujah. I won't let anybody stop me from shouting thank you Jesus. I won't let anybody stop me from praising the Lord because we see what praises can do at the very beginning of the service because we begin to worship God there was a sense there was a presence of almighty God in the building and so when you need to get into the presence of God you better put on your praise you can sit down like you're cute but you gotta shout a hallelujah you have got to shout a glory I stop by to tell somebody that praise still work when you find your Yourself in a dilemma, praise still work. It is time for the church to shout anyhow. I don't care. We can't be like the Catholic. We can't be like the nominal. But we have got to shout a praise to the God. Let them call us radical. Let them call us what they want to call us. Let them call us noisy, noisy. But the Bible said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All he land. God wants.
wants us to praise him. God wants us to shout hallelujah. God wants you to jump up off your seat and shout the praise. Shamato. We're getting too quiet. They can't know our identity anymore. We're getting too quiet. We are not like Pentecost anymore. We're getting too quiet. We are not like the original anymore. We're getting too quiet. We can't get our deliverance to our praise. But we have got to shout hallelujah anyhow. If you don't want to praise him, that's up to you. But right where I'm sitting, I'm going to praise God anyhow. Excuse me, let me praise my Lord. Excuse me, let me tell God, thank you. Excuse me, let me tell him, thank you, Jesus. I don't believe there is one person that is sitting down here this morning that God hasn't done anything good for you. I don't believe that there is one person that is sitting down that God has never delivered you out of a situation yet. You got a testimony and so when you get a chance to praise him, you are to shout hallelujah. Bible led us to understand that Jericho was shut up. And so Joshua gave the command. And so they marched around Jericho. They wanted to march around. They was given the command to march around seven times. And at the seventh time, that's when they're going to make a shout. And so they marched around day by day. And on the seventh day, when they marched around Joshua gave the command for them to shout and they gave a vigor shout. It wasn't any pion pion shout but it was a great shout for those walls to come down and so because they had the shout, the walls came crumbling down. Man and woman, boy and girl, we have got to have a shout to tear down some walls that is rising up around us here. And so God has placed us at a strategic point. God has placed you on the walls of Bethel. God has placed you on the walls of South Camp Road. And so God is ready to shout the trumpet that you shout a praise because some walls around here has got to come down and we have got to extend our boundary. We can't limit God and put him in a box because God is a big God. We song is an awesome God. He can move mountain. And so the God that we serve is a healing, a deliverer God. And so when we shout with the voice to God, he will hear us. He will tear those walls down. The walls of depression, the walls of doubt, the walls of confusion. Ah, God Almighty, the walls that is holding you in a place called Lodiba, the walls that is confusing you, the walls that is gripping you and make you be confined in one situation. That's what the devil wants to hold you at ransom and to put you back against the wall but I got a God that I can call upon God the Bible said this poor man cried unto the Lord and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his trouble somebody need to open your mouth and shout to God this morning you're tired of what you're in but you've got to open up your mouth and give God a crazy praise is there a crazy worshiper is there a crazy praiser is to shut up is there somebody that is tired of the lukewarmness and you want to move to holiness you got a praise in your belly and you want to let it down shout hallelujah Mato Shaka. The walls are coming down, but we still have some shout because we got tear down these walls. These monumental walls, these idolatry walls, these perverted walls, these wall that is blocking our blessing, we gonna pull them down in the name of Jesus. It's time to shout. 
saints of the living God it is time to shout God is saying it is time to praise him it is time to worship when you get into the presence of almighty God worship him like it's his last service you don't know what tomorrow holds you don't know if you're going to live to see next week Sunday you don't know if the rapture is going to be tonight so when I get into God's presence I've got to give him a praise when I get into God's presence I got to say thank you Jesus when I get into almighty presence I've got to shout hallelujah I don't care if you said I'm noisy but I gotta shout hallelujah mama shut Mato Shata. Is there anybody that want to give him a praise? Is there anybody that want to praise him for five minutes? Or you just want to praise him for one second? Mato. Is there anybody you not giving him a praise since you came in here? But you, Mato, you got a praise sitting on. Aha. Turn to somebody and say, you got a praise that you're not using. Lend me your praise because you don't know to use it. I want to praise him. Shout unto the Lord! Shout unto the Lord! Shout unto the Lord! Shut up! I feel some walls coming down. Devil, you are loser this morning. The walls is coming down. The walls of depression. The walls of oppression. The walls that is keeping me from getting my healing. He's a bomb in Gilead. We serve a miracle working God. He, he's a healer. He's Jehovah Rapha. And he's a healer this morning. Shanto, Mato, Mandiabo, Sato, Mako Shanda. Hallelujah. The children of the Lord have a right to sing and shout. These children of the Lord have a right to praise them. The children of the Lord should know how to praise God. The children of the Lord should lift your hands in the sanctuary and shout the praise. Shato, Mato, Shamako, Shamayaba. Devil, you should know you can't mess with us. Devil, you should know you can't mess with the Betelites because we have a praise. We know to worship God. Hallelujah. Is there anybody ready to extend your border? Your border, you're confined. And your border needs to be launched out. Is there one person that needs to extend your border? I came to tell you that today is the day for your borders to extend. We are not going to be confined anymore. But we are going to extend our borders. We are going to launch out. I even said the children of Israel borders were extended after the walls came down after the shout and the walls came down and their borders were extended their borders couldn't be extended so long as the wall was in existence and so they got to shout to get the walls down in order for their borders to be extended at time we try to extend our borders uh, we do everything and try to extend extend our borders but when we come to praise God we come with a long face we come with a down spirit God I've been praying to you I've been calling to you and so nothing is happening but let me tell you say we have some weapons we have the weapons of prayer we have the weapons of the name and we have the weapon of praise and so we gonna use the weapon of praise to tear down these walls that is preventing us from love out we're gonna use the weapon of praise to extend our boundary we're gonna use the weapon of praise to get into God's blessing we're gonna use the weapon of praise till God deliver me out of my circumstance I'm gonna use praise until
till God bring me out. Somebody say praise is what I do when I want to get close to God. Is there anybody here that is ready to praise God? Is there anybody here that is ready to lift your hands and lift your voice and praise Jesus? so far from you God I need a little closeness with you so I'm gonna spend time and praise you I'm gonna lock in door and praise you I don't have to wait till I get to church to praise you but I build my altar at home and I know how to worship God I build my altar anywhere I go and I know to worship God sometimes at work I sneak away from them and find a little corner to praise God when I drive I'm sure that I'm praising God. Praise is what I do when I want to get close to Him. Is there anybody feeling far from God and you want a little closeness with God? You want to hear Him speak. You long to hear the voice of God. Somebody need to praise Him. Somebody need to shout hallelujah. When I shout my praise, it's a missile that come out of my mouth. When I shout hallelujah, that's a missile launched to the devil's camp. When I shout glory, that's a missile shot out. When I shout Jesus, that's a missile that is firing. We can see now America is about to strike Syria. Here is war time. And so what is happening in the spiritual realm is manifested in the physical realm. Somebody better get up and praise God. God, because you're in a war atmosphere you're in a war zone hallelujah the devil is shooting at you but put on the whole armor that he may save to stand against the wild and praise him while you put on the armor praise him while you get into his presence praise him It's time to shout. It's time to shout. It's time to shout. Jeremiah knew how to shout and because he knew how to shout he can say I feel like the fire shut up in my bone when you begin to praise God when you begin to shout to God something must happen in the atmosphere the atmosphere must change demons must flee demons must die when we start to shout the name of Jesus when we start to praise him something must happen Mando, Shato, Mando, Shamato, Sata, Nando, Shitiobo. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Don't you know you can pull down some stronghold with your praise? Don't you know you can pull down some stronghold with your shoulder? You can just put your chest forward, put your shoulder backward and praise him and show hallelujah. Just open your mouth and give God the praise. Give God the glory. Shout to the Lord with a voice of trumpet. Shout to the Lord. Let everything that I breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even if you're not saved, open your mouth and praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. can have a praise you're not baptized yet but you still can praise God and so when you're praising me will show up in your trouble 
when you praise him he will show up in your situation when you praise him he will bring revelation to you when you praise him he will show you the right pathway when you praise him he will make the way for you but all you need to do is just praise him Joshua was a man of war. Yes, he was. And at the same time as a man of war, he was a man of praise. Yeah. And so we see Israel went into many battles. Yeah. And most of the battle that they won was through praise. Yeah. In the book of Second Chronicle, we see Jehoshaphat came up against the Amakites and the Hittites and the Jebusites and they merged together to destroy Israel. But what God did was to call them together and round them up together after the three day fast. And when they came back out, they were praising God. And when they begin to praise God, what it did was to confuse the enemy. They were shouting a crazy praise. It wasn't a praise that we give when we are sitting down like we are cute and hallelujah, but they were shouting, give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy endure it forever. They were shouting on top of their voice. Ah, and the Amakites begin to wonder if these people are crazy. They are in a battle, but they are praising their God. They are shouting a hallelujah they are shouting i thank you jesus but when they begin to do that it confused their enemy and they begin to kill off each other because when you praise god you confuse on the enemy you confuse the enemy and the enemy don't understand can i put you in that trap but you still have a praise can i put you in that box but you're still time time to praise god can i lock you down but you still have a worship saul and Paulus was in prison but they had a praise in prison no matter where the devil put you have a praise don't let the devil steal your joy I still have joy after all I've been through is there anybody you've been through hell and back but you still have joy you still have a praise you still have a worship you have been to the lowest quarter, but you still have a praise Somebody need to get back your praise. Somebody need to get back your joy. The joy of the Lord is mine. If you don't have joy, you're weak and feeble. If you don't have joy, you're not strong. Shut up. Somebody give me your praise over here. Somebody give me your praise over here. Somebody give me a prayer. Somebody give me a prayer upstairs. I'm going to praise him anyhow. I could only find a school fee, but I'm going to praise him anyhow. I'm going to pray. I'm going to dance. I'm going to sing, I'm going to shout, I got to praise, I got to praise, I got to shout. Woo! I come to kill some devil, I come to tear down some rock. Shato, Mando. Help me, Jesus. I feel radical in my spirit. Somebody need to get up and say, Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Woo! Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the move? Tell her you're ready for this move. The boundaries is being moved. The walls are being moved. Are you ready? Ha. 
Hallelujah. 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 Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just say, Hallelujah. Just thank you, Jesus. Just thank you, Jesus. I'm giving you one minute for this. Just hallelujah. Just a hallelujah. Just a hallelujah. It's the highest praise, but still a hallelujah. I don't feel so good, but I still have a hallelujah. I don't feel on top of things, but I still have a hallelujah. I don't feel like God is around me, but I still have a hallelujah. Shato, Mato Shana, Mako Shatiobo. Woo! Hallelujah. Somebody said, What a hard man to die. You lick me down, but I'm going to bounce right back. Somebody need to bounce back to Jesus. I feel this in my spirit. Somebody need to get up and bounce right back to Jesus. You feel out of place, but this is your moment. The walls are down now. So come up and bounce back to Jesus. Bounce back to Jesus. Somebody need to shout your way to Jesus. Shout your way to your victory. Shout your way to your blessing. Shout your way to your deliverance. Shout your way to your miracle. Shout your way to your financial blessing. Sing. Not gonna let no devil shut me up. I'm not gonna let no devil shut me up. I'm not gonna let no dragon close my mouth. I got a big mouth to shout. Listen, if the devil shut your mouth up. He can shut your spirit up. Nobody didn't hear that. If the devil shut your mouth up, he can shut your spirit up. And so is what you put in that you will get out. And so when you come, you praise him until you get a release in your spirit. You praise him till you get a deliverance in your spirit. You shout glory to God till he set you free. Mando Shamatosa Ako Shana. I'm true preaching. I need some demonstration now. We got a lot of word, and what we want is action right now. Mato Shata. But the church that I read about in the book of Acts, they got few words but much action. And this is time for action because the devil is speaking things in your spirit and is putting things very nicely to you. Anybody can come up with a good sermon and speak it pretty to you. But what we need is result. What we need is action. And so we are moving our boundary into action because we are shouting that the walls come down so we can move in action. When somebody come to the altar, if you need the Holy Ghost, you must get the Holy Ghost. If somebody come to the altar and they need deliverance, your deliverance should be here waiting for you. Is there anyone that need the Holy Ghost this morning? You want the Holy Ghost? Come. Shamato. Anybody need the Holy Ghost? Welcome. Welcome. Ministers, you ready for this? Mato Shatter. I feel crazy in my spirit. I feel so crazy in my spirit. Somebody need the Holy Ghost. Come when you come worship God and walk to the altar. Don't come dead. Just come with a worship. Come with a praise in your mouth. Somebody come with a praise. If you want something from God, you got to offer something to Him. And so come giving Him a praise. Come with your praise. If you want deliverance, come. If you want healing, come. Shamato, Mato, Shamako, Shandiobo, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Is there anybody need a deliverance? Is there anybody need healing in your body? 
Come with a show. Come with a show. Come on, when you walk to the altar, walk with a praise. Walk with a praise. Walk with a praise. Give him something and you can get back something in return. Hallelujah. 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 They are coming. They are coming. Hallelujah. Keep the praise going. They are coming. They are coming. Keep the praise going. They are coming. They are coming. God, you got to do something this service. God, you got to deliver somebody today. God, you got to break some yoke today. God, you got to break some chains today. Too much people under change. Too much people under chain. We got to break up some chain today. Shout. Hallelujah. Yes, somebody's reaching up. Yes, somebody's reaching up. Somebody's been delivered. Anybody else? Come on, this atmosphere is charged. This altar is charged. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Woo! Holy Ghost. Shamako. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hey! Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yes, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Yes, Jesus. Holy Ghost. I tell you this altar is on fire. Holy Ghost. I tell you this altar Holy is Ghost. on fire. Holy Hallelujah. Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Woo! Whoosh. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. One more. Go one more. Hallelujah. My God, my Holy God, Ghost. my God, my God. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Shabbat Shalom. Holy Ghost. Ah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, somebody praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, we are getting delivered at the altar. Thank you. Yes, but we still need Thank some you. Thank we you. still need some praises. Thank you. We still need Thank some praises. Thank you. Oh God. Oh. The walls are down. Oh. The walls oh. are down. Yeah. The yeah. walls are down. Yeah. The walls are yeah. down. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Holy hallelujah. Ghost. Holy hallelujah. Ghost. Holy hallelujah. Ghost. Holy hallelujah. Ghost. Yes, Thank still you. praise him while you're there. Thank you. Still praise him while you're on the altar. Thank you. Still praise him while you're on the you. altar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Oh. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Thank you. Thank God. Thank you. Reach out. Come on. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Ali. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Reach out. Come on, reach out. Reach out. Touch the Lord. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, church. Come on. Yes, church. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. 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 Wow. Stabbing lips. 
and with another tongue. God will speak to you. Let him speak to you. Ah, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Ah, fire. 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 God. God don't need no matches and fire by himself. God don't need no matches and fire by himself. Fire, fire, fire by himself. God don't need no matches. Fire by himself. God don't need no matches. God don't need no matches. No He's fire, fire, fire. Don't need no magic. Say, God, don't need no magic. Say, God, don't need no magic. He's fire, 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 die himself. Don't need no magic. I say, God, don't need no magic. Oh, don't need no magic. He's fire. I I say, I don't need no Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Yeah! 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 God is! 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 God is fire. 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 Wow! God is fire. Holy Ghost. Holy 
Holy Ghost. Ah, Holy Ghost. 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 Fire. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Asha Mama. God is fire, God is fire, God is fire, God is fire, burning fire, consuming fire, God is fire, burning fire, God is fire. God is fire, burning fire, consuming fire. Yeah. Oh yeah. God is fire. God is fire. God is fire. Consuming fire. Burning fire. Burning fire. Burning fire. Yeah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Shut up. Ah, yeah, shut up. 